Hello everybody, hello, hello, and thank you very much for watching my channel on YouTube and Twitch, same time. Talking about that, Twitch just uh, announced that uh, yesterday they are letting everybody do the uh, restream on other platforms. No more, they are not, they are not restricting uh, one platform, which is Twitch only, when they stream. Good news for everybody, I guess, but it doesn't affect me because I'm not a big streamer. This is Leo Coach. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much for asking. I just saw that uh, Battle Prime, the latest uh, Prime, which is the uh, Robbie, Robbie, uh, is a, it's a one of those. Um, you know, robots. <laughs> Apex has one, and then uh, Call of Duty Mobile has one. Anyways, apparently they're selling it for $99. Now, here it is. This is Robbie. And it says 80% off for some reason and $99. This is Battle Prime. That one here, Robbie. And top, there are two items. Belongs to Modern Ops that I quit. Left is a um, Juggernaut. And the right is the uh, Midas Mask. Uh, Midas Mask sold for, it started, I think, $99 too. But it's now it's selling for $70, $75. Last time I checked, Modern Ops. Gives a huge amount of uh, armory. You know, you cannot kill this guy, this guy after you put the mask on, basically. And Juggernaut, uh, I don't think you pay, but you pay to upgrade, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But they are very, very powerful. Now, these two are they're sold with real money. And this one going to be sold with real money. Not in my area yet. But... Here's what I want to say to those new people actually worry about pay to win situation. I'm not talking to um, high levels, pros, you know, uh, uh, people with a lot of egos. I'm not talking about those. Those are actually less amount of us, more of us than them, to be honest. With you. When you say pay to win, you always, you always Put yourself the winning person. Pay to win. I, as an I person, cannot win against those pay to win people. But I know you guys like to do, do like a one versus ones or whatever. But it's a team game first. Team game. If you are a good player and if you have enough levels. Not the pay to win, but enough the high level what the you know game gives you. Uh, high level, highest level, free items. All you need is one or two pay to win people in your team to be able to win, and you're still gonna kill. You're not gonna just keep dying. Those who are just dying are low levels like myself. Now the problem is not to pay to win items. For real, it's not. Let them sell stuff. The problem is the matchmaking. Matchmaking is very important. That's how they sell, you know, stuff, right? Push you, you know, buy stuff. Some games are more than the other, like Modern Ops. It starts level 31, literally, just like that. Until level 31, you're perfect um, with the uh, with the uh, bots or real, you know, low level level people. And now all of a sudden, you're facing with the high levels or in your team, high levels, but you're still low level. So what happens is if you have a high level player on your team and high level enemy team, they fight each other. You cannot do anything about it. Even your team wins over and over again. You don't have fun. So that's why I quit. Now, I'm hoping that Battle Prime is not going to happen that way. So matchmaking is very important. Right now, the Battle Prime's matchmaking on for my level is okay. It's good. 
as soon as it changes like modern apps puts me on like a 20 games in a row with the high levels it's time for me to either pay or move on to other games just like i do but right now my uh, experience is up it's not out there yet i haven't i haven't seen the robbie out there playing but i want to see right now there are two primes in battle, battle prime uh glitch and jumper very very high level uh, armors so it's very difficult to kill them and then is robbie gonna be out it's higher level armor see how it's gonna work the matchmaking so if you are just starting battle prime if you're a new gamer don't worry about the pay to win stuff yet so my experiences for last week alone was good uh, as long as they keep keep the level the matchmaking level you know not like a choke in me people are gonna start you know keep playing it it doesn't matter but the line is getting thinner and thinner every you know every time some news comes out with the uh, battle prime unfortunately but right now at this point right now is okay to play battle prime start the battle prime it's not gonna it's not gonna uh, um throw you away all the high level people i'm telling you you know the good players fast players the experienced players uh i know this pay to win stuff you know bothers you most uh more than you know casual players but uh my worst the casual players and new starters whatever just check and don't worry about what people say just start playing the game and see how it goes don't don't uh, influence by those uh pay to win stuff because it may not affect you at all you're a free player because you cannot pay it doesn't mean you should stop playing because it's pay to win it has it's nothing to do with it it affects the higher level players let's see how high can you get first and then after that test yourself you can actually beat those pay to win people here's here's a fact if you watch my games here's a fact if you're a good shooter and shoot everybody in the head and i'm not kidding when i say that's not a joke it doesn't matter pay to win or not not all the pay to win pe uh, play, uh, people are actually actually know how to shoot because they trust their money their equipment and they just shoot around like this but if you're a good shooter you will beat them and you will enjoy it more trust me